Rich Picks Daily is an online community for traders to exchange smart, straightforward, and profitable investment ideas. And join us today at richpicksdaily.com. Subscribe to us on YouTube to learn useful stock trading secrets and discover the next 10 bagger. Guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and it was a wonderful wonderful week for tat lifestyle and wellness and why not we had joe deegan the founder on our show on the weekend and a lot of excitement a lot of different things happening and a monster week for news for tat and in my opinion this is just the beginning you can see that it started at 309 which is kind of like the low of the week and we can mark the low low right here let's just say we'll mark the low low at 308 309 and the high high at the end of the week was 370 so very big week and you can see that literally the stock just gained steam all week from the beginning to the end all you saw was a stock that gained steam right here's a trend line let's draw this so you can see the trend line is clearly up for the week that's tat t-a-a-t -A -A -T in canada and if we go and look at the US side, TOBAF, a lot of the same, right? You can see the low low of 246 and a high high of 295 and finished right around 293 right there. So clearly trending up and very, very strong momentum all week. But why? Why you ask? Well, let's get into it. Three big pieces of news. We're going to go through all pieces of news. Three big pieces of news. And let's get into all the news. So these are the pieces of news right here. So this is the first one that came out on April 21st. TAP becomes exclusive combustible smoke product sponsor of the Professional Bull Riders League through 2023. So this is pretty amazing. As live attendance of sporting events begins to resume in 2021, the company has entered into an agreement in which TAT will sponsor PBR bull riding events in the United States. With more than 3 million attendees per year and millions of viewers, PBR events broadcast globally. The company anticipates that this sponsorship can bring in an integral part of its marketing strategy to cultivate awareness among smokers age 21 plus. PBR sponsorships have proven to be extremely effective with 54% of PBR fans be more likely to recognize a sponsor brand than the average U.S. adult, and 12% of fans having made a purchase from a company specifically because it was a PBR sponsor. The news reads like this, Ta Lifestyle and Wellness, T-A-A-T -A -A -T in Canada, T-O-B-A-F in America, and 2-T-P-2 2 in Frankfurt, Germany, is pleased to announce it has finalized a sponsorship agreement with Professional Bull Riders LLC PBR, in which TAT logo and related messaging will be displayed among other PBR sponsor entities at live bull riding circuit events in the United States starting in 2021, which are also broadcast globally through various media channels. PBR hosts over 300 events each year. Wow, 300 events. That's almost one a day, including Unleash the Beast, which is televised nationally on U.S. channels, as well as several networks around the world in 50 nations and territories. Major sponsors of PBR, which include energy drink brand Monster, iconic workwear label Wrangler, and Caterpillar, the world's largest construction equipment manufacturers. And now TAT, Lifestyle and Wellness, the only non-nicotine, non-tobacco cigarette that I know of on the planet at this level. The company sponsorship agreement with PBR was executed on Tuesday, April 13th, 2021 for the remaining duration of 2021 season, as well as the total duration of 2022 and 2023 seasons up to and including the final sponsored event performance of 2023 and provides for several sponsorship benefits from which, but are not limited to the following subject to availability and restrictions at each venue, as well as local regulations for each venue. Here they go. Exclusive in the combustible smoke product category, arena marketing placement, example, digital signage, in arena commercials, concourse display, in arena sweepstakes promotion, TAT, cowboy cool sweepstakes, once per contract 
year. Tat branded smoke zone. Oh, I like this. A designated smoking section at select event venues. In market sponsorship, for example, Cowboy, Cowboy Cool Tailgate, PBR After Party. Official partnership with PBR's PB Rewards program with in arena and digital support. Social media and digital elements. For example, sponsorship for original content episodes by PBR, banner ads on PBR.com website. Sponsorship of PBR has provided substantial value for many lifestyle-driven brand names that desire visibility among the highly engaged audience of PBR events. For instance, 54% of PBR fans were more likely to recognize a sponsor than the average adult in the United States and 12% of fans made a purchase from a company specifically because it was a PBR sponsor. Further su substantiating the value of PBR sponsorship in the tobacco industry when the parent company of chewing tobacco brand, Copenhagen, was limited to one sponsorship per year in the United States. PBR was the firm's sponsorship of choice in 2018. There's a photo that accompanies this news. There it is. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. So pretty big news. This came out on April 21st, just a few days ago. And what did Chief Executive Officer Seti Coscarella say? We are thrilled to enter into the sponsorship agreement with PBR, said TAT, Chief Executive Officer Seti Coscarella. The strong record of PBR sponsorship renewal speaks to its success in delivering on the brand awareness metrics sought by its sponsors. We believe that being a sponsor of PBR can provide excellent visibility for our brand among smokers age 21 plus who follow the league at its events. And we look forward to seeing how this can help us build upon our existing brand equity as we begin efforts to scale our product rollout in the United States. Huge, 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 huge news for TAT, lifestyle and wellness. What do you think of this news? Do you like this news? Do you think this is big news? If you like this news, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. I know we've got fans of TAT Lifestyle and Wellness all over the world, and now they're gaining sponsorship. This is just how you grow your brand to new investors, new potential smokers. This is TAT, and that's why they are growing exponentially and why I believe they're just in the first inning. Billed as America's original extreme sport, bull riding became popular in the southwestern United States during the mid-1800s as an adaption of ranch and horsemanship skill competitions held throughout Mexico starting in the 16th century. PBR was formed in 1992 as an entrepreneurial group of 20 bull riders and today attracts an annual total of more than 3 million fans in attendance of its live events. Over 500 bull riders from the United States, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, and Australia currently hold PBR memberships and participate in events which lead to an annual PBR World Finals where more than 10 million USD in prize money is at stake each year. The 2021 PBR World Finals is to be held at the T-Mobile Arena near the Las Vegas Strip from November 3rd through November 7th where TAT brand will be made visible to a nightly live audience of up to 20,000 fans. Wow. TAT Chief Revenue Officer Tim Corkum, who we've had on our show, commented, introducing a new brand in the cigarette category begins with understanding who the target consumer is and what needs they have that aren't being met by other brands. The typical consumer journey for any product begins with brand awareness, which needs to be accomplished through consistent and repeated exposure to the TAT brand in places to which their attention is regularly drawn. Our current digital advertising efforts provide us a relatively low cost way to reach smokers age 21 plus through channels on which they spend much of their time learning about new products. We have not limited ourselves to online promotion as the TAT brand has been advertised on gas pump video display screens and in-store point of sale materials. We have also instituted retailer education programs where the majority of cigarettes are sold. 
And as a re- and as a result, Tat Brand is presented to smokers age 21 plus repeatedly during their purchase decision moments. That happens several times per week. This PBR sponsorship now evolves our ability to incorporate more lifestyle elements that can connect the Tat Brand more intimately with our consumer base and expose our brand to even more smokers who will associate Tat as a brand which complements their sporting passion. More important than simply branding the signage and signage, TAT will be able to incorporate experiential marketing, product trials, and user interaction that will allow us to directly reinforce the TAT message with a large fan base of smokers, 21 plus, in several markets across the United States in which PBR events are held annually. Huge, huge, huge for TAT. Love to know what you guys think about this news. But it doesn't stop there. Then, yesterday, TAT announced its initial application to list its common shares on the NASDAQ capital markets. Kaboom! Now, this was huge for another one of our picks just yesterday, which we brought to you guys first and is up well over 1,000%. TAT's up almost 1,000%, has been up over 1,000%. And based on this news, I think TAT goes way higher in the future. TAT is looking to list on the NASDAQ. Game changer. Here's the news. This just came out yesterday. Huge, huge, huge news. TAT is pleased to announce that it has submitted initial application for its common shares to be listed on the NASDAQ capital markets in the United States, one of the three tiers of the NASDAQ stock market operating by NASDAQ Inc. in New York City. Wow, wow, wow. Last month in a press release dated March 23rd, 2021, to the day, the company announced its common shares has been upgraded from OTCQB venture market to the OTCQX best market, the highest tier of markets operated by the OTC Markets Group, Inc., required a professional third-party sponsor introduction and several other conditions for eligibility. Following consultations with advisors, legal counsel, And the best board of directors, TAT has submitted an initial application to NASDAQ Inc. for its common shares to be listed on the NASDAQ capital markets. For more information regarding this listing application process can be found on the NASDAQ initial listing guide at the following link. So you can click on this link right here and it'll actually explain what all the qualifications are to list on the NASDAQ. How exciting is that? Huge, 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 huge for TAT. Huge for TAT. Massive, massive, massive news for TAT, lifestyle and wellness. Potential benefits of the company shares being listed on the NASDAQ capital markets could include the following. Additional opportunities to attract institutional and retail investors, thus enabling the company to expand its investor base in the United States and potentially globally. Wow. And to think we were the first ones ever to bring TAT to the world. And now the entire world is going to have the opportunity to learn about TAT. Greater visibility of the company and its business activities, as well as its accomplishments to date and strategies for future growth. Potentially increased liquidity of the company's common shares and amplified overall market presence for the company, which would stand to augment shareholder value. In the press release dated December 22nd, 2020, company announced that after it became a post-revenue company, it had been added to two indices of the Canadian Securities Exchange, CSE, including the CSE Composite Index, as well as the subset CSE 25 Index, representing the top 25 companies of the CSE Composite Index by market capitalization. With more information about the CSE indices can be found on the following link. I mean, guys, if you don't see the growth here, I mean, it's right there. It's right in front of you. Clearly, TAT is where it's at. Shout out to Jeff for for that slogan. I think it's cool. And uh, TAT, you know, Jeff said he's one of our members in our community that you can use that. You can use that slogan. TAT is where it's at. I think it's it's, uh, catchy. Why not use it? The listing of the company's common shares on the NASDAQ capital markets remains subject to the review and approval of the initial listing application and the satisfaction of all applicable listing and regulatory requirements. 
Yesterday, one of the picks that we've talked about pre-IPO as well and has been a huge success for our community, Mind Medicine, a psychedelic play, one of the best psychedelic plays out there that isn't on the senior exchange yet, listed, said that they've been approved to list to the NASDAQ and the stock went bonkers up 65%. Let's show you what it did right here. Mind Medicine, wild, wild day yesterday, up 65%, a huge, huge, huge move up after the news came out that they've been approved to list on the NASDAQ and they will be on the NASDAQ Tuesday, April 27th, next week. And the stock went up 65% in Canada and the United States after the news. We don't know how long it's going to take for them to get approved. It took about six months for Mind Medicine to get approved. We're not sure how long it'll take for TAT to get approved, but when they do, that could be a major catalyst, so stay tuned. TAT CEO Seti Coscarella commented, ever since TAT became publicly traded on June 22nd, 2020, we have made great strides in our effort to gain market share in the USD 814 billion global tobacco industry. Between listing in America and European markets, as well as a rapid ascension of the ranks in the OTC markets, I, be I believe we have consistently strengthened our value proposition to investors around the world as we firm, as a firm position to create long-term value in providing a better alternative to tobacco cigarettes for smokers age 21 plus. We look forward to working with NASDAQ Inc. in navigating this application process, as I believe being listed on the NASDAQ capital markets could considerably strengthen our long-term prospects as a public company. And I agree 100%. Huge, huge, huge news for TAT Lifestyle and Wellness. And then they had another piece of news. Unbelievable news just flowing in for TAT all week. And TAT's had a monster 10 months. I must remind everybody that TAT's only been public since June of 2020. So they've only been public for 10 months, despite the fact that they have grown substantially. This is one of the greatest success stories of Rich TV Live since our inception, and it hasn't even been one year old. Let's read this news. TAT launches beyond nicotine trademark initiative in light of impending federal anti-nicotine regulations to drive awareness of TAT nicotine-free alternatives to tobacco cigarettes. Big, big news here. As Biden, wow, as reports of the Biden administration's intent to cap nicotine levels in tobacco cigarettes have circulated throughout the month of April 2021, TAT has launched an initiative titled Beyond Nicotine Trademark in an effort to encourage awareness of TAT trademark among smokers age 21 plus in anticipation of these potential regulatory actions. Following a successful retail launch of TAT, in Ohio, starting in Q4 2020, the company plans to incorporate Beyond Nicotine messaging into its current brand assets and media properties, as well as upcoming launches in new USA markets through 2021, following a Canadian 1.25 million order from a Texas wholesaler last week, which we broke you guys the news. And don't you just love Tat? I mean, this is just getting better and better and better. So TAT has launched its Beyond Nicotine initiative with an objective of emphasizing the absence of nicotine in its flagship product, TAT, which is formulated to taste and smell similarly to tobacco, despite containing no actual tobacco. On Monday, April 19, 2021, the Wall Street Journal published a report that the Biden administration in the United States is considering enacting a requirement for tobacco companies to reduce nicotine levels in all cigarettes sold nationwide to a level at which they would no longer be addictive. According to a CNBC report later that day, which covered the apparent negative impact of this announcement on the stock prices of several major tobacco firms, Altria, British Tobacco, British American Tobacco, and Philip Morris International, the goal of reducing nicotine levels in cigarettes would be to encourage smokers to give up tobacco or choose, or choose alternatives that are considered safer. In Q4 2020, the company began commercializing TAT in Ohio, followed by a launch of its e-commerce portal, 
enabling the majority of smokers age 21 plus in the United States to purchase TAT original, smooth, and menthol online for home delivery. Based on these impending regulations to lower nicotine levels to cigarettes sold in the United States, the company has elected to launch Beyond Tobacco trademark as an approach to building awareness of TAT as a nicotine-free alternative to tobacco cigarettes for smokers age 21 plus. That's just crazy huge. <laughs> the timing could not be any better for TAT as the only non-nicotine and non-tobacco alternative in America, in the world at this level that I am aware of. In a press release dated April 14, 2021, the company announced several key findings from a consumer research study, which reflected positive reception of TAT, both in concept and as a actual product, which included nearly three quarters of subjects who sampled the product classifying the overall qualities as very good or somewhat good. These sentiments largely reflect in-market performance of TAT to date through in-store and online sales. Here's a graphic accompanying the statement. There it is. There it is. Sold here, TAT, original beyond nicotine. This is unbelievable what TAT is doing. It is literally changing the game. I love disruptive companies. Always have, always will. TAT is disrupting the entire tobacco world. They are ahead of the game. And the fact that Biden is saying that this is an issue just reinforces what TAT is doing. The Beyond Nicotine Initiative will consist of moderate revisions of the company's messaging in its material and communications and potential campaigns through various media channels, for example, online, digital, out of home, point of sale, which would broadcast the Beyond Nicotine slogan to smokers age 21 plus in the United States. As of Thursday, April 22nd, 2021, company has updated certain parts of its consumer-facing website to include Beyond Nicotine messaging. Furthermore, TAT has started producing promotional graphics built around Beyond Nicotine, which the company intends to strategically place and distribute throughout the tobacco marketplace in light of these potential regulatory changes in the United States relating to nicotine. And here is a link accompanying the announcement. TAT is beyond nicotine, allowing smokers to continue enjoying the sensation of smoking with zero tobacco or zero nicotine. At TAT, we understand that smokers age 21 plus don't just use cigarettes because of the nicotine, as it is often about the rituals, the moments, and experience associated with smoking a cigarette. TAT offers the beyond nicotine experience with its beyond tobacco-based materials, which mimics the tobacco cigarette experience in taste, smell, touch, sight, and sound without nicotine or tobacco. TAT offers the choice to reduce nicotine intake without compromising the smoker's experience. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What does Seti Coscarella say? This announcement, Seti is the CEO of TAT Lifestyle and Wellness. This announcement from the Biden administration alters the landscape in which we operate as smokers 21 plus in the United States will no longer be thinking of nicotine as just something they might be considering leaving behind, but rather something that they would soon have no choice but to reduce their intake of at a bare minimum. For several months now, I've been saying how the lack of nicotine in TAT products is one of our best selling points because nicotine, and it's true, is objectively a useless drug. Indeed, tens of millions of smokers age 21 plus in the United States can currently choose between a full nicotine tobacco cigarette or a nicotine-free alternative such as TAT. However, it is very possible that later in 2021, the former option may not exist. Smokers age 21 plus now have the opportunity to try and perhaps switch to TAT and experience the difference that can be had by forgetting about nicotine and keeping the sensations they enjoy. We therefore expect Beyond Nicotine to be an important element of our brand in 2021 as the U.S. tobacco industry prepares to potentially take on 
an unprecedented shift, which we hope to be able to capitalize upon by providing smokers age 21 plus a better and nicotine free choice. Wow. It's like Tat could see the future, isn't it? It's like Tat could see the future. This is incredible news. Love to know what you guys think. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and information purposes. Huge week for Tat. Three pieces of huge, groundbreaking, altering news for Tat Lifestyle and Wellness. And the company just keeps getting better. We brought it to you first. We've been doing this since 2017. Nobody does it better. What do you guys think about Tat Lifestyle and Wellness? What do you think about this news? Epic, epic, epic news for Tat Lifestyle and Wellness. Clearly, they had a good week. Do you think this continues into next week? Comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe if you're alive. If you're not winning, you're not watching. Your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. <laughs>